It was 40 years ago this month that gruesome images from the South American nation of Guyana shocked America and the world. Hundreds of members of an obscure religious cult transplanted from California and known as the People's Temple were dead. Victims of a coerced mass suicide dictated by cult leader Jim Jones. Their deaths came not long after a deadly attack on a U.S. congressman's fact-finding mission to Guyana. Memories of that Jonestown visit still loom large for current California Congresswoman Jackie Speer. Good evening. The story out of Guyana is like a nightmare that just won't quit. Please. In November 1978, I was an attorney on the staff of Congressman Leo Ryan. Part of the mission he brought to Guyana to investigate Jim Jones. Take your glasses off. That's just dare in our faith. The wildly charismatic leader of the People's Temple. We had received credible reports of his followers being abused and held against their will. The compound was impressive. Members of Jonestown were certainly saying all the right things, no matter how rote. But someone slipped us a note asking for help. I felt my stomach turn into hard knots of terror as we realized our worst fears about Jones were true. When cameras were rolling, he spoke of how he loved his followers and would always have a place for them. But off camera, he muttered about treason and liars. He was cracking, and all I wanted to do was get out of there. Ryan assigned me to escort the first airlift out of Jonestown. As I was loading defectors on the two planes, a tractor trailer with seven gunmen arrived at the airstrip. The gunmen opened fire on us at point blank range. Five bullets pierced my body. Congressman Ryan and four others lay dead. What I didn't know then was that more than 900 followers of Jones, including hundreds of children, would later that night ingest cyanide at his command, an act some call suicide, but I call murder. I was helped into the baggage compartment for safety and later moved to a tent on the airstrip where I waited 22 hours for help to arrive. Surviving against unimaginable odds can make every day that follows swell with a renewed sense of purpose. We don't get to choose our formative moments. Very often, adversity and failure shape us more permanently than fortune and success. That has certainly been the case in my life. Pain yields action. It can introduce a fervor to speak out for those whose voices are not heard. Surviving Jonestown crystallized where I needed to focus my energy. It convinced me that I had a purpose to devote my career to fighting for the voiceless.